Welcome everybody to Sporting Logically. Today we are talking about breakout Bulls rookie Lori Markkinen, a player that has seen his great first half of the season overshadowed by the efforts of fellow rookies Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, and Ben Simmons. Tatum might have more team success going for him, and Mitchell and Simmons' combination of having to do so much for their teams and putting up highlights on a near nightly basis certainly attract a good amount of attention as well. But it's time to start talking about Lori Markkinen as a legitimate Rookie of the Year candidate. Coming out of Arizona after only one season with the program, Markkinen's ability to stretch the floor and shoot a high percentage from three-point range as a big man was seen as an ideal fit for today's NBA, but it was unclear if he had any more to offer at the next level. Since being drafted seventh overall by the Chicago Bulls, he has shown that there is much more to his game than just being a spot-up shooter. He has leveraged that shooting ability into other offensive opportunities inside and has even showcased better than expected athleticism at the rim, as Ennis Cantor found out earlier this season. To be fair, he is playing 30 minutes per game on a Bulls team without a ton of other offensive options, and his field goal percentage leaves much to be desired for a player of his size. But consider the comparison between Markin and stats so far this season to Nick star Kristaps Porzingis' stats as a rookie. As it stands now, Markkinen is scoring more points, grabbing more rebounds, attempting and making more threes, and shooting a higher percentage from the field as well as from three-point range than the Latvian star did in his first season in New York. He even outdueled Porzingis back on January 10th with a monster stat line in 46 minutes played to lead his Bulls to a win. Those eight three-pointers made by Markkinen tied an NBA record set by Dirk Nowitzki for most made threes in a single game by a player seven feet or taller, and his two and a half made threes per game are currently on pace to break the record for most threes made per game by a rookie in NBA history, regardless of size. So the question is, with Markkinen playing so well, why aren't people really talking about him as a Rookie of the Year candidate? Well, for one thing, as I mentioned earlier, there are a handful of rookies having truly excellent seasons for their teams. And this year's Rookie of the Year race is one of the most heavily contested in recent memory. Also, the Bulls got off to an absolutely dreadful start to the season, and most fans basically just wrote them off soon after. However, the team has begun to find its groove, and with the recent return of Zach Levine to the lineup after recovering from a torn ACL, their young roster should continue to improve and garner more national attention. Heck, you never know they may even find a way to sneak into the final playoff spot in the East at this rate. But regardless of the team's success, Markkinen's rookie season has been nothing short of spectacular. With such a strong field, it remains to be seen whether or not he will actually be able to win the Rookie of the Year award. But at the very least, his candidacy needs to be getting more attention. And remember, just last year, not many people would have predicted Malcolm Brogdon to end up winning the award at this point in the year last season. So you never know what could happen. Be sure to let me know either in the comments section or over on Twitter at Sporting Logical who you think will end up winning the Rookie of the Year award this season. I would love to hear your guys' opinions. And that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sporting Logically. If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like rating down below. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this, please be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, and I will see all you guys next time.